It has been a year. Thanks for having me back. Great to have you. Um, today I'm going to be making some beautiful chicken uh, rangatiki wraps. Uh, I'll be making a marinade with what I've got here. Um, and then we'll be roasting off some vegetables, some peppers, some aubergines, and putting it all together to make something delicious. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. It's a good lunch recipe, um, something that's nice and easy. And welcome back to the cafe, Travis. How are you, Travis? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Yeah, it's so good to have you back. Um, we're in the kitchen. You're making one of Mark's recipes, are you, today? I am. He's um, left me with these wraps, which are, sound delicious. They're, they're mm. um, fresh um, and... There's something so easy to make. Well, that's a good thing about it, eh? Like lunch today. Yep, that, full of flavour. We, that's we're what going. I'll be doing. OK, nice. Well, let's get it underway then, shall we? What are we using? Rangatike chicken. That's why it's got that yellow tinge to it, isn't it? Because it's corn-fed, free-range, beautiful. Mm. It's going to make these wraps taste even better. So let's get it underway. What do we need okay, to do first? So I'm going to put you to work. Oh, I, gosh. A little, a little birdie here has told me that you are the man for roasting oh. peppers and aubergine. Oh, anything you want burnt, I can do it. Well, yeah. that's what we want today. <laughs> so yeah. I'm going to okay, give cool. you these. OK, nice. Um, and if you could just set yourself up on the uh, on one of the, the grills. We're going to grill them right on the um, grill, grill you thing? Can grill, you could grill these in a griddle pan instead, or I like to do them you know, over the flame. If you're real fancy at home and you've got a blowtorch, you can even yes. be real cool. Oh, Probably not the fancy. Safest, there's something really going on fire. But yeah, if you could get underway with these, all okay. I want is the skin chard. Yeah. Um, what that's going to do is going to make them real sweet. Okay. Um, so that's going to be, we're going to use this as sort of like a stuffing filling for our wrap. Okay, cool. And do you, should I just do them whole? Yeah, and then make you sure cut you them use, later. Yeah, I've got we'll, my tongs. We'll, we'll do that later on. Use okay. your tongs so I don't want you to burn <laughs> okay. your fingers. Okay, um, good. Well, I'll, I'll look after this. While you're doing that, I'm going to get together and I'm going to make the, the marinade. So, start off, um, we'll use all that, combine all our ingredients. Paprika. Uh, now, I've got a chipotle hot sauce here. Um, if you didn't have chipotle at home, you could use sweet chilli sauce. It's going gonna, gonna to change what the, it tastes like, but it's right. still going to be... It's, it's about the heat. Okay, nice. So, we'll just combine all these ingredients. Um, some olive oil as well, or rice bran oil yep. is, is pretty good to use, just to sort of help everything stick to the chicken. And how? Uh, what's your maximum time for marinating? What, what are your minimum time for marinating? Well, ideally for the flavours to get in there, you're going to want to leave them probably for about an hour in the fridge. Oh yeah. If okay, not, cool. maybe um, 24, 24 hours 24 would be hours ideal. optimal. Okay, nice. Um, some oregano, that was just some red wine vinegar I've got in there. Mm -hmm. um, now, normally you could crush garlic in, but we haven't got a crusher here today, so I'll just dice it up. Um, I always leave the skin on when I crush my garlic and right. then uh, crush it and it makes it easier to peel. Um, otherwise you're fidgeting around for a while. Just quickly run the knife through it. And um, yeah, as we said before, like if you're leaving it in there for an hour, that's going to be more than enough for these flavours to, to get in onto the chicken. Um, and also with your limes, another quick tip. Yes. Give them a good roll on the board beforehand. And it's going to release all the juices. OK, I didn't know that. Thank you. Um, so sometimes you find at this time of year that they might be a bit firm, but hard. And um, just give them a good squeeze in like that. I like to do all these ingredients first and then do the chicken last so the board doesn't get too dirty. So I'll just quickly slice this. Oh, good tap. Onion. Nice work. So the marinade we're making, the recipe on... Root of the onion, always leave it in. That's really? That's the bit that makes you cry. So oh. if you cut that bit off and you end in tears... That's why. Okay, another good tip. Okay, so we're thank just going to slice these into centimetre chunks. We'll get rid of that so we don't end up in tears. <laughs> and the recipe is, I was going to say, cafe.co.nz for these wraps. So the marinade will be underway through the magic yep. of television. Everything will be marinated. Green, oh, yeah, this is How are they looking? Nicely. Yeah, they're coming along good, actually. You're getting yep. some colour on there? You're getting, well, a burnt colour. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's what we want, isn't it? It's all right. You're allowed this on this. So I'm just okay. dicing the chicken here into centimetre long strips. Yep. Um, and then we'll whip them into the marinade. And then put that marinade and in the fridge. And that's going in the fridge. OK, for at least an hour. OK, cool. All right, now, we've got these rangatiki chicken wraps to finish off here. Travis is filling in for Mark today. Uh, now, I've, you made me cook the, um, the peppers in the eggplant. How did I go? All right? Is that what you're after? I'm looking and I'm thinking, wow, you know, you're in the wrong spot. Mark should be worried, mate. <laughs> um, no, fantastic. Well, I don't know. It was Fan easy doing that. But so what do we do with them now? So we've, we've cooked them off. We've charred them up. And then we've uh, we've peeled all the taken as much of the blackness off the burntness off because that's going to be like leave a bitter taste. Right. Um, I've cut down the eggplant. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take some um, lime now and put some lime on it. And that's okay. Just, that's just going to stop it from like oxidising and going brown. You know, like you peel a banana, it oh, goes yeah, brown. True. true. So um, just the acidity just just stops that from happening. Okay. And then remember that little tip before: roll the uh, roll the lime. Roll the our juice. lime, loosen yep. up. So while I'm doing that, I'm going to get you to um, Cook start chicken. cooking our chicken. That's been marinating, hasn't it? Yep. So it's been in the fridge for an hour now. Cool. Nice. Um, now the 
secret with chicken, low and slow. Low and slow. Hot, hot and fast will give you dry, horrible chicken. And okay. with such a beautiful product <laughs> like we've got here, we, we don't want that happening. So well, That's what I've been doing wrong all these years. Even when you have people think chicken, it's easy, it's quick, but you end up with dry chicken and horrible at the end. So just, just nice and slow in there. Um, give it a good season with salt. Oh, it smells um, good while you're in there. Okay, cool. juice. Put a juice, put a juice over these. So it's just the filling that I'm doing. Um, once Mike's cooked off the chicken, um, we'll combine combine them and make make our wraps. Okay, cool. Just done that. Oh, we've got our seasoning. So I just chop these. We only want to chop them into. Thin strips because we're going to be biting like it's you. Well, obviously we're going to be biting. We're going to be eating. It's a bit <laughs> silly of me, isn't it? Um, so well, I've, I've said words. So there's nothing worse. You don't want to bite into a wrap and just take a massive big chunk right. and, and then have all the filling fall out. Right. So it's enough so that it keeps it all together, and um, enough so that we're not not having big bits of food hanging out the side of our mouths. Yeah, because uh, that's the worst thing. You don't want it all falling out as you bite into it. You know, you no, bite into your wrap and walking out with, with yeah, half a trip on the side of your face. Front, so. You want to make sure you get the the right size. So I see what you're doing. So you're going short ways for the uh, for both of them, actually. Yeah, for, yeah. for, for both of them. So that's the chick. The chicken was a centimetre thick. So it's all you just get a big a, a mouthful of everything when you take a bite. Okay, and how's this coming along? You reckon, Travis? That, that's good. We low just want it slow. Low and slow. Just get a bit of colour on both sides. Uh huh. Um, and then from that, we're also going to put avocado and feta, and that's sort of going to be they're more of our creamier flavours that are um, just going to take away from the sweetness of the pepper. Yum. Geez, that marinade smells good. It's, um, it's nice. It's, it's, it's a fresh one, you know? Right. Like, it's, it's not going to leave you with a horrible... There's not a lot of garlic in there, so you're not going to be sort of a couple of hours later having it repeat on you or anything. Let's take my us out there. Now, I like to dice up my uh, avocado. Let's get the knife and just carefully run it through so we don't go too deep and take our hand out underneath. OK. And then I'll go in and take the rest out with a spoon, and that way you get all the avocado, because, as you'll know at the moment, the old avocados are on the way back up. They are very, price. very pricey at the moment. So maximise as much of it. So I'll just get a spoon, even just a teaspoon. I'll just take that in and run that round the, round the outside. OK. Oh, oh, look at that. Out. There you go. Oh, and I like the way you slice it in the avocado. Yeah, well, less mess. Let's take that up there. How are we looking with the chicken? It's starting to get oh, a bit of colour on it. Yeah, it's Onions are starting to soften. Well, I guess that's why I crank chicken really high when I cook it, because I don't want it to be undercooked. So, we're, we're, But yeah. low and slow. Low you can, and slow is the way You can actually have chicken slightly undercooked, but it's got to be fresh from the farm, like you would have had to kill the chicken yourself. Right. So, I've done um, that before. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Back and back in the Southland. Oh, you're a Southland boy too, aren't you? Oh, I am, actually. I think, around the road from me, actually. Oh, I think we're probably the, you know, the two best-looking men to come out of Gore, really, well, aren't we? Right. Yeah, all yes. successful. Yeah, yeah no, there you go. <laughs> so I'm just going through, I'm just picking off these leaves as coriander. Now, I know coriander's not everyone's favourite. I know, Jesse hates coriander. Loves it. So we'll make sure we make Jesse's, we'll just put a little bit less in. OK, cool. Um, well, I'll tell you what, so once we've got the coriander done and the chicken done, we're pretty much done and ready to wrap a little later on. We are, yeah, so... Um, OK, cool. We can finish up. Yeah, and, well, um, well, that's what we'll do. I'll tell you what, we'll come back, we'll see the wrapping a little later on. You can show us how to best fill these rangatiki chicken wraps. Hey, uh, <laughs> how are you going there? Oh, we're just getting the last one together here now. Nice. Seeing the wraps are deciding that they don't want to play the game today, but that's fine. Oh, look, it's all going to look the Put same in the tummy. We'll jazz it up with a, look, with a bit of coriander on top. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it over. I do some coriander. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at the last one's full. Oh, that's right. Look. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Spin it that way. No yeah. one will ever know. Keep it right there. I'll put my hand there on that yeah. bit. <laughs>